Hello, and welcome. In this video, we are going to give you an impartial review when we are covering 5 best survival acts in the market, which are the best for you considering some unavoidable factors that you might miss out without watching this video. Here, we are trying to help you out to find the best from a plenty of irrelevant products. If you want more information and updated pricing of the products mentioned in the video be sure to check the links in the description below. So, let's get started. Number 1. Our overall best pick is Fiskars X7 Hatchet. The Fiskars X7 Hatchet is the smaller sibling of the X15 Axe. It's effectively a one-handed version of the larger chopping tool. As such, it has many similarities. You get the same fiber comp handle that's lightweight, provides overstrike protection, and is comfortable in the hand. This one is almost a full 10 inches shorter though, at 14 inches in length. The head is very similar, with a low friction coating and high carbon steel. It's smaller, naturally. The whole hatchet weighs a scant 1.38 pounds. The blade also flares out from the edge to just before the eye, so it's a surprisingly effective splitting hatchet. It's also pretty good at chopping and can also be used as a hammer, though you don't want to hammer steel. Some users have reported their edges chipping. This might be that non-stick coating. It'll chip off, then you can sharpen the bare steel underneath and have an effective, inexpensive, and durable hatchet. Pros Lightweight Surprisingly effective at splitting for a hatchet. Tough handle. Cons. Some chipping concerns may just be the coating, though. Recommendation. The Fiskars X7 hatchet is lightweight and has a good handle. The chipping may concern some people, but that might be the coating instead of the metal itself, as the larger X15 doesn't have the same problem. Number 2. Our second best pick is Estwing Sportsman's Axe 14-inch Camping Hatchet. The Estwing Sportsman's Axe is a made-in-USA hatchet with a steel handle and leather grip. The head flares out, so it has a surprisingly long cutting surface. It also comes with a mirror finish, which fulfills three purposes, it resists corrosion, it reduces friction, and it looks nice. The steel extends into the handle. All the way. Normally, this would mean uncomfortable hand shock. But the Estwing Sportsman's Axe has stacked leather spacers over the steel, which helps to minimize shock and make the hatchet more comfortable to use. However, they come lacquered, which makes them shiny and slick. Also, if any water gets under the coating, it'll cause the leather to rot from the inside out. Before using this hatchet, you should take care of that. It's recommended to sand the lacquer off with a 100 grit piece of sandpaper. Then, apply some sort of leather protectant. I'm a fan of Hubert's shoe grease. Pros Better for chopping than some hatchets. Very durable handle. Cons Handle leather needs work before it's comfortable. The Estwing Sportsman's Axe is a classic hatchet that requires a little bit of effort to make the leather handle comfortable, but it is a good choice for a hard-use hatchet. Number 3. Our third best pick is Gransfer's Bruck's Wildlife Hatchet. The Gransfer's Bruck Wildlife Hatchet is a Swedish wood-handled hatchet. The head is made from Gransfer's Bruck's proprietary axe steel. It weighs one pound, which is pretty light, but that's a boon for people saving ounces. The 13.5-inch American hickory handle is comfortable to use and gives you enough leverage to chop down small trees. The wildlife hatchet's geometry is different than the small forest axes in that the top curves down a little bit. It's still a very versatile tool and can be used for light, splitting, carving, limbing, and more. The handle's hickory comes from responsibly managed forests. The head steel is made from recycled scrap metal by Ovaco. The only way to buy an axe or hatchet with less of an environmental impact is to restore a vintage hatchet. It also comes with a leather sheath and the axe book. Now, some users have reported that their hatchet came off center, so the edge didn't match up with the center of the handle. In most cases, this doesn't affect the use very much, but it can annoy perfectionists. 
Pros. Environmentally responsible. Handmade with skill. Very versatile. Cons. Expensive. The Gransfer's Bruck Wildlife Hatchet is a handsome, comfortable, and versatile hatchet that can see you through the wilderness. However, it's much more expensive than other hatchets, which are 98% as effective. Number 4. Our fourth best pick is CRKT Woods Chogon Tomahawk Axe. Most people think of tomahawks as weapons, not survival tools. However, they can be good at the light tasks you need to perform in order to survive in the wilderness. The CRKT Woods Chogon Tomahawk is probably the best hawk for survival purposes. Like all hawks, the head is not permanently attached to the handle. I've used a branch to replace my tomahawk's handle in a pinch, which you can't do with any other type of axe. Also, the shogun's pole is a hardened hammer, increasing the hawk's utility. You can also remove the handle to turn it into a scraper, just in case you want to turn a deer's hide into clothes. The head does have thin cheeks. So, while it's okay at chopping, it's less effective at splitting wood. It'll get stuck in larger logs. There are two sheaths available for the chogon. One is a blade mask, while the other incorporates a blade mask and straps for both the hammer pole and the handle. Unfortunately, neither come with the hawk, and they have to be purchased separately. Pros Both weapon and tool. Handle is easily replaced. Cons Not as effective for tough tasks. The CRKT Woods Chogon Tomahawk is a surprisingly effective survival tool. It's a hatchet and hammer. Then, if the handle breaks, you can replace it in a matter of minutes. Number 5. Last but not the least, our fifth best pick is Fiskars X-15 Chopping Axe. The Fiskars X-15 Chopping Axe is a very modern-looking axe. The forged high-carbon steel head has a uniformly gray low-friction coating that also helps prevent rust. The handle is made from rubberized composite materials. So, it looks a bit alien in a natural environment. But that's where it thrives. The axe head is well designed for many tasks. Fiskars calls it a chopping axe. The edge geometry and head weight mean this axe is good at felling medium to small trees. However, the cheeks are thick enough for you to split logs without much fuss. The 23.5 inch handle is extremely durable. The Duracomp material, or Fibercomp, depending on who you ask, is stronger than steel when it comes to impacts. A bad swing won't put your axe out of commission. The handle is good at absorbing shocks and doesn't become slippery and your hands are sweaty. The X-15 is heavier than similarly sized axes, but not by much. It weighs 3, 4 pounds. Weight adds up in survival situations, but this shouldn't cause too much of a problem. The sheath, though, is large and annoying. It's good for mounting your axe to a car or boat but isn't good for the forest. Pros Inexpensive Nearly indestructible handle Versatile head geometry Cons Mediocre sheath The Fiskars X-15 chopping axe may be a budget option, but it's by no means a poor survival axe. In fact, it's one of the best. So, grab this while you can. Be sure to check the links in the description below. That's all for this review. Feel free to share your feedback. Like, comment and share our video. Do subscribe and hit the bell icon to get more videos like this in future. Thanks for watching.